across the sovereignty, from the ashes of New York to the loneliest, most barren corner of damnation, nothing remains. Nothing. I'm Jacob Minkoff, lead game designer at Blue Omega Entertainment, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the unique way we designed the levels for Damnation. In Damnation, we have these levels that are absolutely massive, have huge vertical height, and are much more organic and multi-layered than levels you would typically see in, in a shooter. Traditionally, level design is often done on graph paper. You simply do top-down views of the player path through it. But in Damnation, we couldn't really do that because the overall feeling of being a huge, realistic space was so important to us that we actually started out with the concept art. When we started the uh, development of Damnation, we didn't realize just how much verticality was going to be needed. In the example of our first design for Boomtown, it was a very small area. We thought that, you know, six stories would be huge. The next version was much more compact. Maybe there were buildings that were 10 stories in it now. And the final design for Boomtown is a massive canyon. And the steam generator itself is about 40 or 50 stories tall and it now takes the player uh, a good 30 minutes to climb from the base of the steam engine to the top. So once we finally got this vision from the concept artist that we said yes that is Boomtown. It was this pencil sketch and we went ahead and we drew on top of it. So the level designers would look at that image and they would circle different locations and say, oh, it would be really cool if the player went from here to here to here. In the case of the mines in Boomtown, uh, the mines were designed as this uh, huge cavern with a spire going up the center of it and all sorts of different buildings built into the cavern walls along the side of the mines. The level designers went ahead and drew paths on top of it and they said, okay, well, there are all these cool elements in this image. Let's look at that and say, it would be really cool if the player had to climb into this building and had to get onto the rooftop. It would be really interesting if they had to cross over this canyon a few different times. And we'd put the gameplay into the image. I think that we really succeeded in our goal of bringing these epic artistic visuals to a much more mainstream shooter. Be sure to check it out on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC.